Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to the grim existence of being a network technician. My uh, brother doesn't seem to be very happy right now. Is he dead? Oh, great. I'm technician one. Do you copy? Sorry to wake you up. Just take a few minutes to complete your process. You didn't answer who the hell you are, and I don't appreciate that. Anyways, welcome to Tunnet, everybody. This is a game where you are an underground network technician who has to work 24-7 in an underground facility, and I'm assuming this is it. It sounds like an interesting little mining focus game, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be checking out the demo today. I've been assigned to be your supervisor. I need to get you prepared. Okay. Please hold while I set up your locomotion module. You mean I can actually move in this game? No, no way. Oh, oh God, that was aggressive. Oh, great. I gotta press a red button 16 times, which will give me credits. Is this a freaking clicker game? Ooh, the shadows. I like that, though. <laughs> What am I? What, what the hell am I playing? I'm going to press it more just because I like to live on the edge of law. All right. And 60 isn't enough for me. I'm starting to lose my mind already. Your locomotion module is all set. Try to walk and open the door. Ooh, exciting doors. And I did it. Hello, chef. What do we have on the menu today? Oh, everything is out of stock. This is a truly grim existence. What are you doing here then? Are you just... Are, is there no food here? Are you just pretending to work so you don't get fired and die? All right, I gotta listen to my supervisor. We have a vending machine here. I need to bu buy a relay generator. Oh, great. One in stock. Perfect. And that's why I needed the $16. It's now time to build a re relay next to the mainframe located in the other room. Relays can be built all on the floor or on the wall. When built next to other devices, it will automatically connect to them. Okay, so all Astroneer style. Got it. You know what? I don't even know why there's a washroom here. We're clearly all robots. Do we need to, you know, relieve ourselves? Or was there humans here before? The plot thickens. Where the hell am I going? Mainframe. I, th I, th I, th I think that was it. Okay, this is getting more and more depressing. So, uh, yeah, clearly Earth is in shambles and everybody is living underground in shelters. Got it. I wonder if I can find some humans. Hello, robot scientists playing with the mainframe. I'm not allowed to use the endpoints. My job is to only connect them together. This is depressing. All right, so our goal was to connect this to the mainframe, right? So, yeah, we just do this. Looks like you've su successfully connected a relay to the mainframe. Now try to connect it to the endpoint by building additional relays. The endpoints are located in the other rooms. Informative. I see one over there. Okay, so I don't know how far these things can go because they cost a dollar each and I'm kind of cheap. Okay, that's, that, that's pretty good. There we go. I did it. I'm doing my job. Yay, look at the el electricity go. The wires can be split by using hubs. Try to remove one of the relays and replace it with a hub. Okay, so we're learning. Did something just push me? I, I did not move there. That's kind of creepy. All right, well, I don't know where we buy the hub. I'm assuming back at the uh, vending machine. And will it be re remarkably in stock now? All right, and yes, there we go. We got the hub for 32. Oh, I'm running out of money. I guess I got to go press my big red button again. I'm assuming when we connect a certain thing, we, we earn money. I hope I don't just have to do this all the time in this game, or I am going to truly lose my mind when I have to l look at the dead guys around me. All right, so we got the hub. So this essentially allows us to connect to multiple cables to one point, I believe. So if we put this down here now, it looks like, oh, that was a bad spot. I can't just walk through those. You'll now have to locate the other shelters. You can now purchase a scanning tool to find the location of one of the surrounding shelters. The strength of the signal should give you the direction to follow. Okay, so yeah, we have the super scan for $64, and then I'm assuming I'm going to need that. I need more money. Okay, and we got the Diggly as well. So now I'm supposed to use this. The vending machine also offers state-of-the-art drill. I, I, I already am I'm one step ahead of you. Indicated by your scanner, connect to the other sh shelters to the network. Okay, so I am seeing in the top right now. Okay, yeah, that's definitely it. We have this bar and it kind of shows us uh the current closest area that we can go to is over here so i don't know if i can just dig on the walls can i open this door okay i can and oh this is where we actually dig so perfect can i get rid of this i can't actually get through this okay so yeah i can dig here i have a problem there's a jukebox in the way there we go all right and now we get into the digging aspect of this game wow this thing is efficient this is kind of nice. It does cost a dollar every time it digs, though, so that's a bit of a bummer, considering I have six dollars left. <gasps> oh, there's going to be monsters in here. Okay. Well, I'm all out of money. We're nowhere near it yet, I'm assuming. Oh, this is going to freaking bother me, man. Why is this here? Is this to troll me? Just ma make me lose my freaking mind? I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Oh, I can click it and get $70. Maybe I should have tried that... <laughs> while ago seventy dollars this is great all right so we'll do uh seventy dollars worth of digging this thing is really far away okay that's i can't 
break that for some reason. Or I couldn't for a second. Oh, yeah, there's a... Okay, so there's a board here. So that tells me that this is probably the place. I just got to find how the hell to get into it. And I'm freaking broke again. Oh, my God, I need money. Okay, yeah, it even says endpoint. Um, so I'm back. I got a bit more money. How the hell? This is a big wall, clearly. I don't want to waste too much more money. I think I got to wrap around and find the entrance. I don't know which way is the better way. There we go. <gasps> okay, I... I'm in something. The cabin. Oh, why is this creepy? I don't like it. Hello? Okay, it's for sale. That means nobody's here. The door is closed. Well, how am I supposed to connect to something that's closed? I do appreciate the tree, though. What the hell is this place? So is this one of the shelters? Because, yeah, we got a nice little place in here. I don't know how I'm supposed to connect to it, though. Evans listed $100,000. Real estate prices are really getting out of control. Am I talking to myself right now? This is the perfect place to retire. I cannot afford it. Oh, my God. So is it, can, can I actually buy this? Is this not where I'm supposed to go? It has to be. Because the mainframe's right here. I wonder if I can connect to it through the wall. I guess I'll try and build this thing over here and see if we can, can connect to it. All right, well, it's right here. And yeah, I can't connect to it. So I'm wondering, is this not the... This is, has to be it, right? Because I'm looking at my radar. Unless there's something like over here, beside it over... No, this has got to be it. How am I supposed to avoid this then? Do I actually have to go click $100,000 to buy this thing to unlock this? Like, I don't get this right now. Okay, so I rescanned. Uh, I'm back at my big red button. And I have a different connection now. So I'm wondering if I wasn't supposed to go to that place yet. And for some reason, I went that way. So this kind of makes more sense because it's kind of right where my main hub is and there's just just one room and it doesn't really do much else so yeah i'm thinking this is the way i'm supposed to go and i'm just gonna try and follow this thing and see if we can actually <gasps> there we go this one's open it's a supermarket this is so weird so there's like a whole underground city here hello i don't think you've been getting many customers have you welcome to the underground supermarket what can i do for you i would like to buy something what what, what do you have for sale? Oh, okay. A battery, a screw, some scraps, some seeds, corn. $2,048 for corn. And a bottle of oil, $4,000. Yeah, I, I need to figure out a way to earn some money in this. But we found one. There's an endpoint here, so we might actually earn some money once we connect this to our system. All right, hey, buddy. I hope you don't mind the wiring. I'm way too lazy to hide this stuff. So there you go. And are we earning money now? Data is being sent back. Look it. Amazing. I'm still getting zero KBS, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Ooh, I didn't see these before. Thank you very much. I need all the money I can get. <gasps> oh, it did go up. It went up by $2. Oh, this is so slow. I'm going to have to connect to a million of these things if I want to buy that home. Okay, and I pinged, and there's another one this way. This is kind of, this is a weird game, but I love it. There's truly nothing like this one. Ah, we're at the camp. Well, thank you very much. I will take that. Is there anything creepy camping here? Oh, more. Yes. All right, so I'm actually earning some money now. Underground summer camp. How exciting. <laughs> With a computer fire. All right, now I'm going to be truly rich because we have set up the campfire. Okay. Well, I understand the premise of this game finally. Can we find anything else around here? Unfortunately, that's not it. Okay, so there's something... What the hell? It's like a not a full signal, so it's far away. What? Is it the campfire? I'm losing the si Is it up? Oh, God. I, it is up. Okay, so yeah, I can kind of build upwards. It's very hard to kind of direct this drill, though. But yeah, if we got something up here, I'm going to try and get up there. Because the more we get on our system, the better. All right, and now it's actually down. Am I just going back to where I freaking was? What the? What is going on? <laughs> okay, yep. <laughs> I am not the best network technician. Somehow I went back to where... But look, it. when I look at it, it's zero. So it's... Con Why would it be a, a, a bigger signal up here? I'm confused. All right, well, I'm going to get away from this place and try and find my next signal. Okay, you really got to be careful with this system. I even had a hub without two, or sorry, three things connected to it, and it was actually breaking my data. Um, Now I'm getting a bunch of, like, there's red data coming in. I'm not sure what the difference is. I'm assuming one's from the campfire and one's from the store. Uh, But yeah, all the data is now going back to the mainframe, and I'm earning way more money. So I'm 
kind of understanding how this works it's actually pretty cool and you do really have to analyze your system and make sure there's no dead ends and whatnot it seems like so uh yeah we'll go back and start hunting for some more of these all right so we got 15 meters this way and what is this oh i thought i found this place already because of this but no this is just under construction nice for a hundred dollars now jeez Block diagram, CPU, memory, locomotion processor. So, yeah, I'm finding all these pages for my book. I should probably be reading them. All right, well, we have another one. I don't know where we can go from here, but I'm pretty far away. So, we obviously got to bring my whole cable system over. God damn it, I'm back to here. It just keeps taunting me. How much is it again? $100,000. Well, we're close. We're at $303 now, earning like $10 a second. All right, so at this point, I just need to dig far away from pretty much everything, and hopefully I find something new, because I'm kind of retracing my steps. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I should be going down. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, I shouldn't have went further once my screen started shaking. Am I, am I dead? Yep, I literally died. Great. Well, at least my progress is still here. So now we know. Don't go to the edge of the map. That's a bad idea. What the hell did I find now? There's just a big wall here. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry about your window. Um. I'm just trying to find a way in. Ooh. This one doesn't even... <gasps> the farm? This is so cool. I love just looking for these weird things. Ah, uh, no. I just spent so much money trying to get to, like, the edge of the level. But I'm getting to this fog again where I die. Um, I thought for sure there'd be something good in here. Let's see if we can scan one more time. Uh, 54 meters away. Hold on. There's 54 meters this way? Okay, so there might be something over here then. I did have $1,000 though, and now I'm broke. Because it's $3 to mine through this heavy stuff. I am way too lazy to go back though. I'll just wait for my passive income to come in, and uh, then we'll go further. Oh, god damn it. That took me back to the camp. Okay, I'm starting to think I'm running out of options. Because every... Oh, I can, I can make things pink. That's cool. Okay, so I can pinpoint locations. So this map is massive, but unfortunately we're in a demo, which is, if you're wondering, it says uh, at the bottom, press J to open the letter. It just says, thank you for playing the demo. And then it closes my game. So I'm trying to see how far we can get. I was really hoping to attach to more random nodes so we can earn some serious cash and see if we could legit buy that um, apartment. I'm going to go around and look for a few more, but yeah, everywhere I go now, I'm going back to the center or I'm getting to that um, radiation zone where I take some damage. So really cool premise for a game. Unfortunately, the demo, uh, very basic right now. I kind of get the, the just of the game, though. It very much is kind of clicker-like. At the start, you earn a very little bit of cash, and then as you collect more and more nodes, you earn more cash to get more upgrades. I mean, we saw at the vending machine... There's at least eight more items we can get upgrades with, and uh, unfortunately, they're all locked. I was really hoping we could unlock a bit more to see how complex this game's going to get, because uh, right now, it's pretty basic, but there's still areas we can go to. There's still dig points, so I'm going to see if we can maybe connect some more and uh, buy that uh, house. Okay, yeah, I just keep going back and forth between all the ones that I've seen, so I think that's pretty much all of them in the demo of the game. I've explored the majority of the map that it allows me to explore. So now I just have to wait, you know, like 30 hours to get enough money to uh, purchase that house. One eternity later. All right, it's been a really hard job, but we finally did it. $102,000. It's time to retire. <laughs> I don't even know if anything's going to happen here. This is the perfect place to retire. I can't believe I'll finally have my own place. Can I actually do this? I should perhaps review the deed of sale before signing it. Um, click to inspect. The cabinet... Wait, what? The deed of sale where? I cannot afford this at this moment. Wait! What the hell just happened? Do it, wait. I, do, do I freaking own it? Did I just get scammed? Did I just actually get scammed? Dude, I'm gonna drill right the frig in there. I don't care anymore. Let me in. This is mine. I own it. There's gotta be a way into this. I'm pissed off now. I paid a lot of money for this. Man, I thought there'd be an escape hatch or something on the roof. I have mined this whole thing out. The irony is I'm losing more money doing this, and there's nothing here. I was hoping this wood could be mineable or something. I think I just got scammed. And unfortunately, nothing under the floor as well. So yeah, obviously, I think this is a good time to wrap up this episode, checking out the demo here. We did it. We completed the demo of Tunnet. It's coming out in... Uh, 
2023, by the way. So obviously very, very soon here. Yeah, really cool premise for a game. I really wish there was a little bit more in this demo to see kind of where it's going to go. Because, yeah, the upgrades were pretty basic right now. But, yeah, I'm super excited to check it out when it does come out. Because uh, it does sound like there's going to be quite a few upgrades. And, I don't know, I just love the art style of this. I love the grimness of it. And it's another weird little mining game. And I think you guys know I like those as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo into Tunnet. As always, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.